the, the main purpose of what, why we do this is because it makes it a lot easier for people to um, uh, see the future home or the future apartment and the future outcome, what it should be like, what it, what it would look like, uh, what different materials to use and how to, how the actually the light and everything all the all the lights and everything works in the oh, sorry. it runs into me. It's still in a really early phase of course because well it's a new medium and people don't really like new things, especially when it's yeah well they need to spend a lot of money to get get this thing running. Uh, if you think about the headset and the computer itself. But it saves at the end of the day it actually saves especially during construction times. It saves a lot of money. Uh, the people themselves. And yeah, that's what it's pretty to look at. You can just walk around in the future home, see how it goes, where you can well, feel the space, the light, and uh, what kind of footage to use for the inner design, which is also we're going to try and start working on uh, when you, where you can actually just use different uh, different furniture, different designers, and just be able to set it in there. And of course, yeah, you can change the materials on the, on the go. Uh, this project in particular was made for, for Nordic houses and they are selling this uh, thing called module houses where you can just add uh, or remove modules so it makes it kind of easier possible because since VR is how it is, it's pretty uh, performance heavy well you need to run the two screens at once and to not to lose real world, not to lose the feeling that you are not in the real world you need to have it running at pretty, pretty high FPS at the same time and that's why most of it is all pre-baked, if anybody knows rendering terms and so on, like pre-baked baked lightning, so it wouldn't be dynamically, or uh, happening with time, and otherwise the thing would crash the whole thing. Yeah. But the problem with that is that we can't really do things on the go right now because the hardware just isn't there yet. So I think if anyone wants to try it, they have to move it to the other computer. Yeah, that would be this, this, this one, uh, which is also quite, quite good, uh, is... Uh, and the main purpose for us is to give the people the chance to actually go around the new home and see how it feels, what it, uh, what it's going to be like, what they would like to change. Maybe, maybe they want to make some rooms bigger. Maybe they want to lose this window here, move it somewhere else. Maybe they want to different kind of furniture, the layout, the book. It's 3D, virtual reality. You can just see the space and so on. And that's that's why we are. Well, yeah, there's of course the gaming side as well. You want free time. It still be games and stuff. But <laughs> this is this is mainly for for like, well, putting the bread on the table. Let's put it that way. I, did, I, I really like the on this one now. Uh, well, what I was going to say, since I'm pretty new to this whole three D world, well, how I actually got into it was pretty pretty funny. But one of my old classmates, it's a small company, quite a young company as well, and it works on a small town in Estonia, only it has like maybe twelve thousand residents or so. And we are pretty, pretty unknown for the rest of the world. And we just went up one night and started talking. Well, I've, I've always played games a lot. I love games. I've uh, played games since I was really little. Well, small games with those 8-bit consoles and Super Mario and so on. So I just started messing around with uh, Unreal Engine 4. Well, just to blow things up. Who doesn't like to blow things up? So we started talking and he said they're looking for somebody who would be willing to um, <coughs> learn and see how these things work. So we just jumped in right in and started doing things. And this is where we ended up. Well, it's still not quite there. Uh, me, myself, I have no 3D background, no programming background whatsoever. But it's been a really, really, really awesome journey to get uh, this far so far, well, yeah. With this project itself, it just found, um, how to put it, the accessibility of things and the software that you can use to do it has become really easy to make this. Especially like, is this actually a design? Yeah, there should be. Well, there's a glass that you would ah, yes, yeah, see. Yeah. Up like this, yes. Very, uh, very uh, polished. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a problem with uh, words, right? You can just, well, if you just walk straight forward, you can just go through the walls and all. How do you? Which like, is kind of. Uh, how do you do it? Well, you can't really do anything <laughs> for it, to be honest. But, uh, well, um, so we have, have had thoughts of adding some Easter eggs. We have a few rooms that are closed off so that people would go in there with see the gnomes sitting there and you can go and talk and interact with them and you say, you better go outside and you go outside and the house is safe because it's going to be on fire. Well, if you want to see how your house burn, of course. But 
and um, but I don't really have anything to say because I was hoping you guys had more questions for me. And I was hoping to uh, make this whole presentation with 80, 88 percent of questions. So if you have any, just ask. We block them and answer them. Yeah. Is the model also created in VR? Created uh, in VR. Like I mean, like you're wearing the headset and you're building the house. Well, that's the that's the main thing. That's the that's the problem that we have. The hallway just ain't that strong yet to run all the lightning and everything uh, uh, read time render. But in the future, when things catch up for sure, it's going to be a possibility. Because uh, as soon as we start doing read time rendering, it's just going to lose so much real. You're going to have like that was earlier was uh, talking about. But if you start optimizing, you're just going to start losing. Yeah, it, 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 I would be able to play with this uh, tower. This is like totally. <laughs> this is a really nice tower. So you get the models from the developers, like the real well, estate developers, or how much manual labor does one three model take? Uh, well, the thing is, right now there's working me who are under the function the programming side of it, and there's another guy who does all the modeling, and probably just he does the level level design of it. And uh, architects architects they just bring us the project, and we just take the blueprints and we model it. And go and just put it put it inside the walls. From from, from, it, from my own experience, uh, yeah, that's, the, that's use, not the secret rooms. <laughs> when you try to use the the architect's own blueprints or the CAD programs or CAD models, models, these are super detailed and you just open yeah. the file for half an hour. And you can't use it. Yeah. Well, people that come to this, they don't really work with game engines or. Especially games with 3D, 3D model problems are really a problem, especially in rendering. But if you think of game engines, um, the, the lower the poly poly polygon count, the better. It's because the, the higher it gets, the more you need to stream at once and just too, too performance heavy. Especially texture uh, texture wise as well. And this one, we have another version of it. Uh, y, the Y version is actually the second one. The first one was an FPS version, where we have, uh, we're using higher, high, high quality textures as well. Uh, but since Y is kind of like a model platform, the mobile platform it doesn't really support higher than 2000 by 2000 sexual resolutions. Otherwise, it's just going to get to, um, yeah. So, what, what are the technical and specifications of this house? I mean, uh, texture, uh, basically, how big textures are? Uh, we are using right now, there's a maximum of 50 dollars, about 2048 by 2048. Is there no the Well, I think the whole thing, the, the house itself was about less than 5k, I think. Actually, even less than 5k, it was maybe about maybe when you take all the small details and stuff as well. The furniture, some furniture pieces actually have more than the house itself, maybe three or four times more, because you need to create that kind of smoothness and realism and stuff. Well, like he was looking at the bed earlier, those are really, really hard, but they're really high polygons, but we can't really. Go other, you know, the other way. And because the blanket has to be nice. Mm -hmm. Well, like you can see that all the the, the blankets itself, they are really, really high polygon, but the house is just one little plane on another plane, so it doesn't really take that much. <coughs> it's rather the material that you put in the non dimension foils is a PBR system, which is awesome. Uh, you create the. Well, you have some, like the walls, wall bit or something, so like really. You can check if you like want to just bring up the menu and get it. Uh, yep, and you can just go into the interior, choose wall, and go. Uh, we we use it as a demo, so we didn't really put much in the buttons. Let's bring it out for a second. So it looks very back. So it, yep, now it's back to Ah, there we go. And uh, since VR is really, really, really new, so engines don't really have, um, how to put it, uh, they don't really have the possibility of VR. So the experiment is so that thing where that's really hacky, that's what I put together. But it isn't really uh, familiar with Unreal Engine 4, especially the blueprint side. Uh, and the blueprints will pretty much get really, really massive. They get so massive that it's ridiculous. But it's really, really easy to export. Yeah, the whole, the whole, the whole the, that actually, that menu would be easy to solve it too. In G itself, there are 100 motion graphics, but it doesn't really support when they do a weight cost and everything else. It's really not a hacky way. So it's just something that put together because it's a demo version anyway, you don't really need that many options right now. Just for the newest information in 4.13, yeah. they implemented the uh, mm -hmm. model. I'll mess it up with the port for the interactive image. And it's also, and it's 
also loving it. We've got a lot less knobs to drag, let's put it that way. But, uh, where was I? Where did it go? Oh, yeah, I had questions, of course. Was there another question maybe somewhere? Yeah, we try it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but uh, but uh, let's do it the other way. The other is stronger. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, what I wanted to say is since we do architecture visualization, our most um, uh, our end user will be the client who's going to order it for the, or order the house, but most it's going to be big companies. So they're going to have the resources to get the really heavy, heavy duty weeks with the really good graphics cards and really good processors and shit loads of memory. So we don't really, yeah, we don't really aim for gamers. That's, that's the other thing why this one is just the way it is. But if we're making games, then of course, yeah, we'll be hiding most of it. We wouldn't we be able to go over and basically maybe for the whole problem of 500,000 polygons or so, and even smaller textures. I've seen a few other, yeah, that's the other thing with Unreal Engine 4, that the textures are horrible, especially the ER. But I've seen other companies do things, um, and we haven't really seen um, something well, on this scale, especially in Estonia, where you have the interior and the exterior at one time. Uh, Lightning-wise, getting lightning right is really, really hard because you're going to have to take really uh, a lot of points into consideration. <laughs> most, of the, most of the thing, especially in architecture and position, that you see is just uh, one type of light. It's either you want to have the interior or you want to have the exterior. You don't have really both at one time because it's really hard to get it working properly. But we still, we're still learning, let's put it that way. And we're getting better and better with each, with each, with each, with each time we do things. Yep, but the one at the back. Yep. Did you do a pre-bake the lighting for like, different settings for different configurations of the house? Not really, no. Uh, what we have, uh, we, uh, the menu is we don't have really any settings menu for this one. This one we just we just had a form, we put it in there, we added some functionality to it, and that was pretty much it. So you can but the, uh, the lightning itself is pre-baked. The only dynamic light we have in there are a few um, a few few point lights that we just kind of used to so you can go into rooms. When you pick uh, dark uh, like exterior surface of yeah. the house versus the light one. I didn't want to stop, but I don't know, it looks very, very good when yeah. you pick the different uh, exterior surface type of oh, the yeah. building. So it, it doesn't look as if the lighting were wrong there or something. Oh, yeah, okay, I know what you mean, yeah. Uh, I'm really, I'm really sure how it's handled by Unreal Engine 4, to be honest. But, if you yeah, have we have the three big detectors, the textures now. If yeah. you have very saturated colors, it would show up in the GI because but the ambient occlusion itself is going to be correct anyway. So yeah, that's not yeah, that's true. That works if you want to go into a second so like I said, I'm almost just drag nodes. That's what I do. And just try to make, make things work you know, in the in the functionality part. I don't really do level design or create the materials into myself. But <coughs> Uh, what we're really hoping for is going to, that's going to start working in the future. So has anybody uh, heard of Octane 3D render? Anybody maybe heard? If, uh, who does model and stuff more? They're going to have a pipeline of, uh, working with Unreal Engine 4, so you can pretty much take a hyper-realistic uh, hyper model, pre-bake everything, all the lights, everything, and just put it straight into that. And that's going to be freaking awesome. That's the point when you were going to be, um, and when the New displays at one point can come up in 4K, and it's going to be better, and it won't be a big, big difference. Goodbye, we made one here, Mark. There was a little girl. Uh, she tried to, well, there was a little, well, there's a little, uh, the half of that she probably can play the dog. This team, the, the lab, hasn't even tried it, which uh, he just survived. And she was playing with the dog, running around there, and the dog just bottled off somewhere. And she stood up and started running straight up <laughs> the wall, like this. <laughs> she didn't make a difference already. And we have a bit of a colleague over here, and if we can update even more, this is going to be ridiculous. Let's do that. Any other questions? Yeah. How big is the team? Uh, there's two people that mostly do, mostly do with, say, videos, spice-throws, and stills. And me and another guy are working on the Unreal Engine part, so that's the two of us. Uh, but we managed. And it's been fun so far.
And what do you plan to do with the whole project? Are you going to go to the real estate companies and offer them yeah. a service? Uh, what we do is we try to, there have to be many, many people that come, uh, come through our office already and try to demonstrate. But since it's a new medium, people don't really like to spend or invest because they don't really know how to use it yet or how to, um, yeah, how to, how to take the whole thing and just make it work for them since you still need to have what well, is called the uh, bike itself, uh, a big, hefty rig and be able to run this. So it's mostly going to be in offices, agencies, maybe conventions where you can actually use it, like here. People can just come and try it on. But if you can't, if you don't have it at home, then it's kind of pointless for them, and that's why they don't actually use it. Actually, I have a comment about it. I think architects feel they are pretty decent for you as well. Well, it's the, well, this is the thing, they, that they, they can see the usefulness, they have the resources to actually get from us at that point as well, so, yeah. Hey, on the screen, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, well, I don't think we have anything too much other to say. I see any more questions and I can try and answer, yeah. How would you test the usability side of it? I mean, the whole movement in the space, uh, interface is... How, did, how we did it? Yeah, right. how do we test the usability side of it? This, this movement in the space, interfaces oh. and that, or you just by punch you build up the... Well, we use a simple one, the simple one is called kind of teleportation. Mm -hmm. well, so you just put it. We are trying to find another way because teleportation is... We try to get people to more, inter well, be, be, be more in the environment, be the base more interaction. So we want to try and get it to move around a bit more, but it's kind of yeah, well, in the beginning phase. The teleportation itself is the simplest form, I guess. It's not really hard to set up. The, well, the other thing is Google. Google is amazing. You can get so much information from the people have done so much work for you already, and you just need to get, pick out the best parts and just put it together and make, make, make it work for yourself. But we're trying to. Um, I think it's called cool promotion, I guess. Yeah, find a new way to get people to move around there, but we're not, we're not really exactly sure how to do it, but we're working on it and see how it goes. Next time, maybe you're going to be able to walk around with just you know, walking around. But since the play, game space itself is kind of limited, it's going to be really hard, especially about big, big, bigger projects. And uh, uh, of this uh, of, uh